and howdy everybody all right just giving you a weekly update i guess as it's been weeks since we've had any kind of update right now we're going to be doing studies on sabbath still and i uh, really would like more volunteers come on now when you're reading it's it's helping everybody right not everybody has the same perspective and you may bring something to the table that shows everybody it gives everybody insight into a better relationship with our father through yeshua so anyways that would be awesome now uh, the past week and a half so today's what april 22nd that's a thursday fifth day right that so yeah 10 days ago 10 or 11 days ago that i'm going to share what happened so this is a monday And if you look at this wonky place, <clears throat> this is the intersection in Tucson. This is this street, this direction, it's flowing wells. And then this direction is Miracle Mile. Yes, we actually have a Miracle Mile. Now, if you look at the supreme wonkiness of this intersection, it looks like it was uh, designed by Pablo Picasso. We have a few things. So this direction coming from north up on Flowing Wells, this way, you have two lanes going north, two lanes going south, and a center turn lane right here. And this center turn lane turns into a left only lane where all these cars are stacked up. It also splits here and turns into a straight lane, just like the arrow indicators, or a right-hand turn lane. And then this is a right-hand turn only lane. So these guys are supposed to turn this, this way, and go this direction of travel, where this white car is. These people have the option of going cattywampus across this intersection here or making a wide right turn into this lane. Now, if we go south of this intersection, where this red vehicle is, that is a straight across the intersection or turn right to go where these two white vehicles are going. Or you can be in this left-hand turn only lane right here. So on this Monday, I was where this white vehicle is right here on my motorcycle. And I was going straight. Traffic was stopped. It was a red light. But it turned. It changed. It went green. Green means go. Right? Remember red light, green light? Okay. Green light, go. So first gear, second gear. And this person in this pickup truck, who... We'll get to in a minute. Pulls out, and I believe they thought that because of the way this intersection is where these people have to kick it over to go straight, thought that I was going to be turning right. So they pulled out and then realized that they weren't going to be following me. And in a panic, they punched it to try to get past me. so that they didn't cause a head-on collision with me. So, needless to say, I had to swerve from going this direction. I swerved, and there was another car coming this way that was going to be a head-on collision. So I grabbed the front brake, right? Let me see if I can blow this up. 
if you can see this right here, this is a big pile of street schmeg, meaning gravel, screws, nuts, bolts, all kinds of fun stuff in there. <clears throat> That's right where I grabbed the brake, front brake, front tire locked up. Bike went slam to the left. I got my leg out just before the bike slammed down. And got to do a wonderful hippity hop. Uh, but being as I'm uh, five decades old now, I'm not able to run as quick as I was when I was a teenager in soccer. So even though it was going about 15, 20 miles an hour, I went down, smack onto my hands, well, onto my knee, left knee, and then my hands. And then smacked the face of the helmet on the chin bar and proceeded to roll and skid on my back, my right shoulder. It was fun. No, I, I take that back. It wasn't fun at all. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, literally heard a crunch sound after that. Bike stopped uh, around here somewhere. And I jumped up and hippity hopped over to this corner right here, if you can see that. And uh, believe it or not, a lot of people stopped. The person that had turned pulled over and stopped right here. Now this way, let's see, you can't really see it. Can't really see it, but if you go, here, let me see, maybe I can move it. If you go this way, this is to get onto I-10, Interstate 10, All right? So a bunch of people stopped right here, were helping me out on this corner. And then he realized I wasn't gonna come over there, so this uh, gentleman came over. And um, he was a young kid, so I, I well, young to me. Um, I'm impressed with his citizenship and honor, we'll put it that way. Uh, came back, needless to say, I have a pretty huge adrenaline rush. He gave me his information. Uh, another man that was there that had pulled over uh, grabbed my cargo rack that broke off and my helmet and gloves. And he was kind enough to take them to where I had left, which was up off this photo up here. I was going to visit a friend of mine whose, whose dad, who was also a friend of mine, had passed away. Uh, so for whatever reason, the way our brain works, I texted him and said, I'm not going to make it, but I'll give you a call later. And then, as I said, with this big adrenaline rush, I pushed the bike back over to where I had been. And it's then that I realized that it was bent and not working correctly. While still on the corner there, we uh, attempted to get it going. It wouldn't start. <laughs> I don't think I could have ridden it anyways. Remember when you used to crash your, your bicycle as a kid and the steering was all messed up? Same thing. So, anyways, got it back over there. Uh, and because this man was honest and forthright, uh, the insurance companies are are being cool about it so far, paying for medical treatment and such. I've got a scratched up, kind of messed up leg. And, uh, well, I've got some, some bruises. I don't know if you can see my hand. It's hard to see when the light's just right. You can kind of see that bruise right there. It's not real great. And this is, this is oops, wrong direction. That's a bruise also there. Um, you can, you can see that bruise. So I'm not taking a lot of notes. <laughs> I'm not taking a lot of notes. So you guys got to take notes. This brings us back to how I open this up. We need more readers, right? Uh, what if my head had been run over by a dump truck? Pop. Now who's going to do these readings? 
Who's going to handle it? <clears throat> um, am I worried about it? No. I'm saved. I'm in repentance. My Lord and Savior has found me and brought me back to the flock. Uh, it doesn't mean that as a dumb mountain sheep, I'm not going to fall off a cliff and die. I'd be in a better place then. All right. Hopefully I wouldn't break a horn off. I have this thing about symmetry, which makes me wonder. This one, this one's bruised too. You can't really see it on this in this light. It's funny. All the training I did to to not hit the ground like that, and first thing I did stick my arm straight out. Uh, my sides messed up a little bit, but I didn't break any bones. And in the middle of the intersection, before I got up, I said, thank you, Abba. And then I realized I was still in the middle of the intersection. It's not a good place to be. <laughs> not a good place to be in morning rush hour traffic around here. Um, you know, the great irony, let me show you this picture again. I don't know if anybody called police or anything. Who wants to be around them, right? Let's see. Yeah, great irony of this. All these solar panels right there. Yeah, let's see if we can shrink that. Can we shrink that? Oh, it doesn't make any difference. All these solar panels, that's a Tucson police substation. Right there. Can't see any. This may have been taken when it was under construction still. But scores and scores and scores of cop cars there. All right. They usually hang out at that Circle K on the corner, too. Nothing. Nobody uh, that works for the city. And like I say, a lot of witnesses stopped and everything. Um, so praise Abba for that. But uh, anyways, it's a important prayer season. I was okay. I asked a couple of people for prayer, and my wife put in a prayer request on their prayer hotline, which is scores of people. So the people that uh, I work to coordinate with through the black, that I wanted you all to keep praying for the uh, the enemy's holy days that are going on right now, which are kidnapping and sacrifice. My stuff's nothing compared to that. And that's the important thing, is we need to wage war. Paul got thumped a lot. So this is, this is nothing, and it had nothing to do with the... Uh, preaching the gospel of repentance for salvation, right? Or free salvation and then repent from sin, I should say. But I wanted to give you all this update. Uh, slowly, more and more people have been finding out. And, well, a lot of you guys have been motorcycle accidents too. And it hasn't been nearly as bad as what some of you have been in. Um, so I consider myself blessed because I am, really am. Anyways, join us for, for our reading in a couple of days. It's going to be in Judith again in the Apocrypha. You can find that online, King James, what is it, kjdbibleonline.org slash 1611. Hey, you know what? I don't even have to repeat that. Oh, it is King James Bible Online. Dot org. Slash 1611 dash Bible. Slash. Slash city slash slash. Okay. Anyways, you guys rock. I love you. I'm going to wave with the other hand. So I'll talk to you soon. Like, share, 
subscribe. 